is Ken Goosen. Ken is a producer with Global Fest, Calgary's Multicultural and International Fireworks Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Goosen. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All it takes is a spark, an idea, something, a beginning, and in the fireworks industry, it goes boom. So over the next 400 seconds, you will sort of see bits and pieces of boom through my life, and why it is that I believe that it's wonderful to get paid to blow shit up. <laughs> so life as a, py a pyrotechnician has its highs and its lows, and sometimes the boom doesn't happen. This is a low show. Low and small, but not low that didn't go boom. And uh, sometimes the shows can go as short as 15 seconds. Other times they can go much further. Oftentimes we never get to see our show because the show is unfolding on top of us. You open your eyes, you look up, and you get sparks, especially in a big show like this. So you want to try to stay away from a little bit of that. Uh, some of the best shows are with music, music and company. And so that really is what's wonderful in, in the sense of being a pyrotechnician. I've had the opportunity to create shows and coordinate shows for the Kennedy family in the 4th of July in Cape Cod. We did the uh, inaugural cer ceremonies for Nunavut. And then there's so many, many other small shows. Every once in a while, you open a package and they're mystery shells. It's like, how am I supposed to put this together? And sometimes you have celebrations. Fireworks oftentimes will be festivals, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, wakes. That was the most unusual one. And, but it really is a wonderful time to put some things together to honor, this is my son, it was his 13th birthday. That isn't my son. He looks a little bit better, he looks a little bit more like me. And, <laughs> so just to, sorry, sorry Hayden. And when we put a show together, some of our shows, on average, you spend an hour for every minute of the show in the setup. So when you see 15 hours of labor going into a 15-minute show, and then you have to clean it up afterwards, it's a little bit of a daunting opportunity. It's a puzzle. Fireworks is a puzzle. Being a pyrotechnician, you open your trailer, and all of this stuff falls out. You've got all of these mortars, all kinds of different sizes. You have a sheet of paper that tells you what you're supposed to be doing. And it's like, okay, I'm in a park. This is a red deer. And it's, how do I put this all together? That's one part of the puzzle. Here, the bombs. We have boxes and boxes and boxes of bombs. And they're all numbered. And they're all cued. You hope the numbers match the box so that the box matches the, the, the area of the park so that you carry it all the way over there. You wire it. You connect it in and hopefully it all comes together. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. You saw Nikki lying down in the midst of all of the bombs going, I don't know where to begin. And this is what the puzzle begins to look like. This is what it looks like during the day. We have a lot of people who go, what does it look like? What's it like to put all of that stuff together? And it's a lot of hard work. Uh, this morning I was moving 4,500 pounds of gear, getting ready for what is uh, in Canada one of the largest days for fireworks, that being, of course, Canada Day. And when you mix fireworks at night, the artistry is just absolutely beautiful. We do daytime fireworks. They don't look very well, but they, they open up shows and they open up buildings. But here you can see the reflection. This is one of the wonderful things about being able to shoot over a still lake, is that it just builds up the show. We do shows in winter. Sometimes winter is minus 30 degrees. You look for a shop where you can actually put some stuff together inside before you go out because you're wiring, you're working with fine little wires and it's minus 30 and your fingers get cold, you've got hot shots, you're trying to jam them in and it's like, oh, is this really going to work? And then you put it all together for the zoo. That was the zoo show. This was Cochrane for their holiday light up. We're a mile and a half away almost from where the crowd is and we're way over on a hill, way up on a ridge and we have no idea what's happening. We've just spent a day setting up the show your fingers are frozen, your feet are frozen because the wind chill up in Cochrane in November can be really nasty. 
And this is the mythical creature of the Sasquatch. <laughs> this to me speaks to, Sasquatch doesn't exist. I had a show that did not exist. Believe it, the millennium. Rimrock Hotel, hopefully none of you were there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 6, down to 1, nothing. We tried it again, nothing. There was no key in the firing system. A little bit embarrassing, shall we say. But these things happen. Fun times. Sometimes you get distracted when you see these massive cigar boats going by as you're setting up on a barge underneath the Trans-Canada Highway, underneath a, a CP rail line that's the main line going all the way to Vancouver. The tugboat pulls you out and you're hoping that there isn't going to be some kind of continuity breakdown with your electrical firing system when you see all of that on top of you. And you're arguing with boat owners saying, you really, really don't want to have your boat this close. I really like your boat. Probably not as much as you like your boat. And I don't have the kind of money to probably pay for that. Or there's the houseboat that might be coming in. You want to be a little bit further away because my embers are hot. And they burn through lots of stuff, including fiberglass. And here is a really amazing effect that often you don't get to see. These are aquatic shells. So we shoot these into the water. It sits in the water, and they erupt from the water. Nothing will put it up. Water won't put it up. Chemicals will not put it up. It is exactly the, the perfect match. And now we're getting to the big shows. And my very first big show was, was kind of like Regina. And we did it with an orchestra. The orchestra was on the other side of the lake. This was before cell phones. We had walkie-talkies, and it was a simulcast on radio. And the orchestra went so fast, it was finished music before we were even anywhere close had we not listened to the music and gone cue by cue on the conductor's score. Had we gone click track, there would have been no music and the fireworks would have gone on. That's a waterfall effect. Hundreds of feet of uh, water line, uh, aerial line that go across and uh, you have this waterfall effect. Now, imagine you might be able to see some pipers there. 2012 was our 10th anniversary. We had pipers begin, we had music that was composed, we had a 20-piece orchestra, we had drummers, we had singers, we had soloists. You're putting this all together, you're working with fireworks, and it can't get any better. When you see all of that together, and you put that together, that's what music is, that's what art is, and that is boom. Thank you very much.